Hey everybody, uh, I want to tell you real quick about an, a quick and easy way to make uh, fast hot loops with um, uh, partially bypassing the POI editor. Uh, the POI editor, which is right here, POI being a point of interest, lets you make um, hot cues, uh, hot loops, uh, set markers, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, the things that, uh, that I seem to be using it for the most uh, other than uh, setting up my hot cues is uh, and naming all my points is uh, setting up hot loops. And I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do that right now. Um, uh, we'll start off by making a loop just like you would uh, when you're playing live. Now tuned into the greatest. All right, now that we have our loop, we'll make our loop editor right here. Uh, make it up uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, click Save. We can go ahead and stop this. Now, when we, when we go into our hot cues and go into our POI editor, uh, you'll see it right here as a saved loop. Because we click Save, now we can uh, name it whatever we want. This time, we'll name it Intro Loop. And we'll put it as Q1. And then there it is. It's now our first cue point, our first hot cue. And now every time we do that, it'll automatically jump right into that loop. Um, what I've been doing is I've been uh, setting up my like first three points as hot cues, and then my second three as hot loops. You know, depending on uh, what the song requires. But um, that's a really quick and dirty way to make uh, really fast hot loops, and you can delete them just as easy as you make them.